here. I think I think we're I think we're recording. So uh, let me just check. Sorry about that. Um, stop recording. Okay, yes, uh, we're recording. So. How's it going, guys? Uh, Nick White here. Uh, I do tech and live coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, so if you want to check that out, check the description. Uh, this is part of the Leak Code series. I'm going through every problem and explaining it. Right now, we're doing a Java solution for number uh, problem number 226, invert a, um, sorry about that, invert a binary tree. So uh, this is a really popular question. It gets asked in a lot of interviews. Um, and, you know, we have this uh, cool piece of trivia down here they give you in the uh, problem description. It says, this problem was inspired by the original tweet by Max Howell and Max Howell is the person that wrote homebrew and you know the you know the quote is by um, Google and it's you know obviously it's uh, it's a joke but 90 Google 90 percent of our engineers use the software you wrote but you can't invert a binary tree on a whiteboard so you know f off but um, you know I'm not sure if that's a true story that Mac Google didn't hire Max Howell because he couldn't invert a binary tree I'm, I'm sure it's not because you know it's a pretty simple uh, al tree algorithm, but, um, yeah, it's pretty funny, uh, pretty funny tweet. So, um, you know, we have this, uh, th it, this is a really simple one. There's not that many tree algorithms. So I encourage everyone to go just try and work through them all. Um, this is a, you know, pretty easy, uh, you know, basically we're given a tree, right? A binary tree and, you know, we have four, two, seven, you know, we have all these numbers and what we want to do is kind of flip the nodes at each layer, right? So, you know, we see uh, four to seven, you know, seven and two will get flipped. And then, you know, we have another sub tree down here and we're going to, you know, obviously just, um, you know, swap the leaves of this subtree. So it's kind of like swap, swapping the leaves of the subtree um, in the in the binary tree that we're given. So, you know, first thing that we're going to do and what we're going to do in most tree algorithm problems is we're going to see uh, that we're taking in a node, right? It's going to be either a tree node or a node, they call it whatever in each time. And, you know, this is the tree node class. We have a value, a left and a right, right? Left, you know, like a left child and a right child and then a value of the current node, right? Um, so, you know, first of all, if root is equal to null, then really there's nothing to invert here, right, guys? So we can just return either null or root. They're both null. So, you know, that's it. And then next, what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to um, do another pretty standard thing in tree algorithm problems. And we're going to traverse down the left and right sides of the tree, right? So left is equal to, you know, invert uh, tree of root dot left uh, and then tree node. Um, right is equal to invert tree of root dot right, right? That's just traversing down the left and right side. Um, so, you know, like basically what's going to happen is we're going to get our tree. We're going to go through, actually I'll explain it in a second, but yeah, we're, we're going on the left and right side and we're going to reach every node. It's just a tree traversal. I'll explain it in a couple seconds. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the root dot right equal to the left. And this is where this is where the swap occurs. Right. So I should maybe say that clearly. Uh, and then the root dot left is going to be equal to right. So, yeah, this is the swap right here. And then all you're going to have to do is return the root. Right. So we're not changing the root or anything. You know, the root's always going to be the head. We're just swapping all the child, uh, the children, right? And that's exactly what we want to do. We're just doing the swaps on the children. We return the root. Everything should work perfectly. So first of all, let's run this. I'll show you guys that it works. Uh, right, passes this test case, right? Here's the input. Here's the output. Here's the expected. Perfect. And then we'll do, uh, do a submission. Uh, zero milliseconds faster than 100% of solutions. Wow, 100%. Great. Okay, so... Uh, let me kind of explain it now, now that you know that it works. Um, you know, basically what we're doing is we have a root node, right? So we'll, you know, we'll take in four in this case, right? Uh, then we're going to traverse down the left side. So, you know, we're going to hit this line first, right? And it's going to pass in root dot left. Well, root dot left is going to be two, right? Uh, and then two is going to come back around and it's going to hit. So basically it's doing like you know, a depth first kind of uh, situation here. You know, obviously not breadth first. Uh, we're not hitting the set two, then seven. We're hitting, we're going right from four to two to one, right? So um, it's going to, you know, traverse down the left side and then, you know, it's going to hit one. So, you know, say we hit one and then, you know, it's going to hit both of these, but, you know, one, you know, one root dot left when root is one. Well, if root's equal to one, well, left and right is nothing. There's nothing there. So it's just going to return null, right? So it's actually going to make it to these, this point now, right? So it's going to set the the one dot left and dot right to null and null, right? And that's perfect because one doesn't have a left and right. You know, then it's going to end up back at two, right? Because, um, 
you know, that's how recursion work. It's going to go, you know, back, back up to where it was. So we're, we're back at two now. And, uh, you know, this time it, it basically goes like that in a pattern and it's going to, you know, set the left and right to the swap every single time. So, you know, this time, um, we're going to have left and right as one and three, but we're just going to swap them around when we have two as the thing. And we're going to set, you know, root dot right is equal to left. So, you know, two's two, you know, two is going to now have a one and uh, on the right side and then, a, you know, a three on the left side. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope I kind of explained that. I know I'm not like that great at um, explaining things. I'm going to get better um, as I go along. I'm, I'm still in the easy problem, so um, we'll see where it goes. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, subscribe, check out any other uh, lead code problems that you might be struggling with, and uh, you know, make sure to follow me on Twitch if you want to see these videos live. Thanks, guys. See ya.